Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. This is my Facebook Live Not Live. I am out of town and I didn't want to disappoint you and leave you stranded on a Sunday night with nothing to watch. So I have pre-recorded this Facebook Live so that you can have a little fun with me tonight. I have a great um, lineup for you. I'm actually doing something a little different. I have a card challenge that I'm going to share with you and I hope that you will join in because I am going to be giving away a free stamp set. So get in the drawing to win that stamp set by submitting your cards using my challenge. Okay, let me get... Um, I want to get this up on my screen so I know that everything is centered and focused here. Hang on. And I think we are a go. Just want to make sure when I turn my camera around that I can see it. I know I'm not going to have any comments because this isn't actually live, but we're going to have some fun nevertheless. Okay. Let me flip my camera around. Oh, and by the way, um, I will um, be doing a drawing for sharing this video, so share it. It's going to be on YouTube. Um, you're going to come to it on my Facebook page, but then it's going to take you to YouTube. So you can click on the share button and share my video on there. Make sure you hit that like. That always helps me out. And um, leaving comments under the YouTube channel, that also helps me. I should say under the YouTube video. I really appreciate it. Okay. I will be back um, next Sunday, which is March 17th, I believe. Let me look at my little calendar. Yes, March 17th at 7 p.m. live, so just so you know. Okay, now we're going to flip the camera around, and I need to get my hair cut because I keep getting hair in my eyes, and holy cow, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> maybe while I'm gone. Whew, who knows? Okay, flipping the camera around now. Um, yeah. I lost my train of thought. Oh, well. Here we go. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. And I will tell you when to open it back up. Okay. All right, I've got you all set up. You can open up your eyes if you needed to close them there. I've got my little piece of ribbon down here so I don't get too far. Sometimes I have a habit of pulling my projects closer to me and then they get out of the screen. So I wanna make sure that those are where they need to be. So here's what I decided to do for tonight. I have this card challenge. Now this is just black and white and gray, and this is just a template for the challenge that I am going to offer to you, and I'll give you the details as we go along. The first card that we're making, I have this stamp set. It's called One for All, and I love big greetings, and this certainly qualifies for big greetings. So this is where I kind of started was with a layout and I chose a stamp set and then I brought in my colors. So these are the colors that I'm going to use for this card. I've got Pool Party that's four and a quarter by 11. And remember, um, you can always find all of these dimensions on my blog. I will have this post on my blog the same time that it goes live in the video so you can go over there and get all the dimensions and all the details for this. Then I decided to use the new Painted Seasons Designer Series paper. This is um, part of the new release. The sec I should say the second release of Celebration and I've shown you this paper before but it is just so so pretty. We've got some beautiful, beautiful designs in here. I think you get three sheets of each design. And oh, look at the flowers. They're just so gorgeous. So that's the paper I chose to use. I've got a piece of the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper that is three by four. A piece of Whisper White that is three and three quarters by two and three quarters. A piece of Lemon Lime Twist because it matches that is two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. 
another piece of Whisper White for the inside, four by five and a quarter, and then a scrap to stamp on. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring in my paper piercing mat. You guys have seen me use these. They are, um, like I said, a paper piercing mat. I just wrap paper around it and tape it down. First thing I'm gonna do is stamp our flower. Painted Seasons, here we go. This is the stamp set I'm talking about. Now, when you place an order, when your order reaches $100, you can get this pack of paper and also this stamp set for free. It's a bundle. And I have been having a great time with the stamp set. I absolutely love it. I am going to take the Pool Party ink and this flower. And then something really exciting during the month of March, we have some celebration coordination going on. And this is called the Four Seasons Framelit Dies. You can purchase these to match your free stamp set. So that's pretty cool, right? I'm going to grab the framelit that matches this flower. And we are going to die cut this in the big shot. And then of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done that and I need to find my flower because it was just here. So hang tight, where did my flower go? Oh, I dropped it. I probably ran it over with my chair too. Oh, I didn't. Don't you love that? Have you guys ever done that? Where you drop something on the floor and then run it over with your chair wheel? Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of this. This is gonna be ready to roll and we're gonna set this aside. I still haven't found that rectangle framelit as of this taping, so keep your fingers crossed for me. It's been very frustrating. Next thing I wanted to do was bring in the thank you so much, and again, that's from this one for all stamp set, these big greetings that I am in love with. And I'm going to stamp that in Lemon Lime Twist. stamp that right here on our white layer and I might have just smeared that nope I didn't yay me is that straight no it looks a little crooked let's try it again yep sometimes we need a redo now we'll see which one's better oh that looks really good okay I'm gonna set this aside now all we need to do is, oh, put our card together. I need one more, one more stamp here. And I'm just gonna put a flower right in that upper corner. Okay, now we're ready for assembly. I've got, let's see, four different cards that I'm gonna share with you for this challenge that I thought were super quick and easy to put together and really fun. And if you are a paper hoarder, you know we all are. <laughs> this is just one way to use up some of your designer series paper. Let's see if I can get this straight. Use up your designer series paper so you can justify buying more or better yet, stock up on some supplies during celebration. Celebration is over at the end of this month. Um, when you buy supplies, you get stuff free. So it is the best time of year to be stocking up on cardstock and anything else that you might need. Okay, here comes our greeting layer. And I'm gonna put that right down here. I'm gonna pop this up just a little bit more than our samples. See, this one's really close to the bottom here. This one's up just a little bit more because I need to bring in this flower and I wanted to make sure that it would fit on here. Okay, you guys, same exact card. Isn't that cool? Yeah, and pretty. Whipped up really quick. Okay, next. Let's go on to the next one. I'm gonna put my inks away. This is really fun for me to create. I love sitting down with one stamp set and just popping out ideas. It was really, really fun. Next one we're gonna do is a petal pink card base. 
This is eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm just gonna fold it and burnish that edge good. And then I have my Whisper White inside and a piece of the Designer Series Paper Painted Seasons. As long as we're handling this, I'm just gonna put it right on the inside. This is my inside decoration here. Now I'm gonna put this just a little bit up from the bottom. I kinda of like that look. And, oops, you know what? Oh no, I did that the right way. I'm like, oh, I just did that the wrong way. We can put this right inside our card. And there's just that little pop of something on the inside. I always feel like you should do something to the insides of your cards. Here comes that three by four piece. And we're gonna put it right here. Now in this case, the card that we're making, instead of it being like this, I'm doing it like this. So it's up to your interpretation. And then I decided to get out my Stamparatus because I wanted to make sure that my greeting was straight and I thought if I couldn't get a really good image stamped with like lots of ink, um, I could redo it using the Stamparatus. So I've got my grid sheet in here and I'm just, I'm putting it down here on the lines that I want it on. I'm bringing in my early espresso ink, inking up the little girl on a bicycle. Oh my gosh, that turned out absolutely perfect. So there we go. Let me set this aside. We're gonna use it again too. If you don't have a Stamparatus, I highly recommend them. They are a wonderful tool, especially um, I know sometimes people, and sometimes me too, have a hard time getting greetings straight. And you can set it up in your Stamparatus and stamp a whole bunch of greetings and get them all straight, which is fabulous. Okay, I put this on a layer of early espresso. And again, this is the same size. The white piece is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And the early espresso is just a little bit bigger at three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. That looks crooked, there we go. <laughs> Let's get it straight, Kelly. And then we need to stamp a flower. So I'm gonna bring in the petal pink ink and get that inked up good. And then I'm gonna bring in my dauber. And I've got early espresso here and I just wanna put that very lightly in the middle of my flower and now I'm gonna huff on it like if you were to clean your glasses you're gonna huff and we're gonna stamp that oh doesn't that look pretty I did that because the insides of the flowers here are early espresso and I just thought that would go along and match really well then again we've got the four seasons framelits and this particular flower lines up perfectly to die cut this flower and through the magic of TV I've already done that so you didn't have to wait for me I think we all are at a point where we know how to die cut things so we're good right <laughs> I hope we're all good and then again I'm going to bring in a dimensional which I just lost all my dimensionals where did they go um, I don't know, but I've got some ends here. That will work fine. I should say edges. We're gonna put a dimensional on our flower, and then we're gonna pop that up right over here. So here's our second card that is the same exact layout. Okay, let's do the next one. I'll leave this in here so you can see it. Did anybody see what I did with those dimensionals? My edges will work fine, but it's kind of like annoying when you lose them, right? Okay, here comes our next card, and oh my gosh, isn't this fun and pretty? So I've got Melon Mambo for my card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We're just going to fold that and burnish it good to get a good crisp edge here. And then I chose some new designer series paper. 
And this is the How Sweet It Is designer series paper. This goes along with the really cute How Sweet It Is bundle in the Occasions mini catalog. But look at all these pretty candies. We've got gumball machines, whoops, and stripes. We've got rainbows and gumball machines and stripes and gummy bears and cupcakes and suckers and just all kinds of delicious candy. I love the vibrant colors in this paper. It's so fun. So, you guys saw me make a cup, cupcake card out of this um, a couple weeks ago. It's really fun. Again, I've got the same three by four and I'm gonna use this polka dotted side on the front of my card. And then I've got my Whisper White layer here. This is going to be our greeting layer. And again, I'm going to bring in that Stamparatus. And Melon Mambo ink. I've got the Happy Birthday mounted here. And we better get our piece in place first. So again, I'm going to put this right in the same place on my grid paper. And this is another good one that um, it's really, really bold. So I thought this would be a good one. Number one, to get it straight on my layer. So I have that all lined up. And number two, if it doesn't stamp very well, I can stamp it again right directly over the top to get a really good image. Oh, and it turned out perfect. Yay, that's why I love my Stamparatus. All right. Oh, I think, yep, for this card, I also need to clean this off. I'm going to grab my chamois. And you can leave this right on your Stamparatus while you hit it with the chamois. Get this all cleaned off. And then we're going to bring in the Stamparatus again because I wanted to do the inside layer with the girl on the bicycle. And you'll see in a minute just how stinking adorable this is. I'm again going to put this right kind of maybe in the same place. Let me take a look at this. Nope, I want to move it over just a little bit right here. I think that's where I wanted it. Yep. And I'm going to put my magnets in here to hold my paper in place. We're going to ink this up with the Melon Mambo. Oh, super cute. Love, love, love this. Isn't that just an adorable little image? Again, this is the one for all stamp set. So let me close this. Put this out of the way. This is our inside layer, so I'm gonna glue that in place right away. It's not as fun with the Facebook Live that isn't live. <laughs> I like it when I can interact with everybody. I know you guys like that better too, but um, Steve and I decided last winter that we were gonna go someplace warm for one week each month in January, February, and March. And we can do that because we have friends that we can stay with. So our little vacations are pretty inexpensive. Oh, by the way, this is grapefruit, or um, gorgeous, gorgeous grape layer under my greeting layer. Now, I thought this was super cute, but I wanted to do some more to it. So I've got a scrap of the Gorgeous Grape and I'm gonna bring in my balloon punch and we're gonna add some balloons to this card. And I need my baker's twine. So yeah, so this is our second vacation. We didn't actually do three weeks, uh, one week each month because we were gone at the end of January and now we're gone again at the beginning of March. And I think this will probably be our last time going south. Okay, do you see how I tied a little knot here? I'm going to slip that right over the end, the little nubby thing of my balloon, 
and pull it tight. And now, I'm gonna get some, I want just some regular dimensionals here. I'm going to take a dimensional. Ooh, look at one-handed. Ooh, that's talent. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. And cut this off. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the little balloon. Again, I'm going to tie a little knot at the end, and this is like the best way to do balloon strings, and I'll show you in a second here what I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna pull that tight, because the back knot thing is back here. You can secure the string with the dimensional, so it's kind of your little one-stop shop. And then the string that's left hanging down actually comes right off the back of that little, um, where you would blow up your balloon. So it looks really, really cool. Now, I like to curl my baker's twine and that works perfect. I think it looks nice when your card is sitting there and your um, strings are curly like they do at the store for helium balloons, right? Okay, let me set that aside. And I'm gonna bring this balloon right in here. And then the smaller one, I'm gonna put right about here. Okay, now we've got super cute going on here. And then I had these candle embellishments. And that's what they're called, candle embellishments. You can get these in my store. When you do a search, they'll pop right up. I'm just gonna take one of these, get out my pokey tool. There's a little adhesive on the back of them. You need to peel the backing off, kind of like a dimensional. There we go. And I decided that these would be really cute right on the front there. Ah, what do you guys think? Super cute and easy, and again, this is the same layout. Okay, next card. I am going to bring in these layers. Now for this one, I'm using Mango Melody. And again, it's five and a half by eight and a half. And then I've got my inside piece, which is four by five and a quarter. And again, using the same designer series paper, the Painted Seasons. I almost forgot the name of it. Yeah, that happens to me a lot. So I'm gonna add this to my white. And again, I'm just leaving it up from the bottom a tiny bit. Leave that little white stripe in there. And I see I've got it a little bit long. So I'll trim that off. We're gonna add this to the inside. I thought this Mango Melody card base was just so bold and bright that it would be really pretty. And it's one of the colors in the Designer Series paper. So here comes our side piece. We're gonna add that with these cute little mushrooms and leaves and sprigs. We're gonna add that right here. And then instead of stamping a greeting on this layer, we're gonna use designer series paper. So when I talk about this challenge, this is up to your interpretation. And I'll touch more on that when I'm finished here. Then I decided what am I gonna do for a greeting? Well, let's see. Isn't that cute? I love this. We're gonna take a scrap of Whisper White and I'm gonna bring in Mango Melody. Let me close this up so I don't have any disasters. And I grabbed my Accented Blooms stamp set, which matches the tailored tag punch. And I love the thank you and the hello in here. Either greeting would work, but I chose thank you because I always need thank you cards. And I'm gonna stamp that. Isn't that vibrant and pretty? I decided to go with a solid background greeting because the designer series paper is busy and my greeting kind of got lost when I put it on white and punched it out. So that's how I got to this conclusion. I kind of messed around with some different ideas and some different colors before I finally decided 
that this was the way to go. And I think I did okay with it. And I'm just gonna put that right here. What do you guys think, isn't that cool? Okay, now, I've got a few more things to do here. I'm gonna bring back in this card because I thought, gosh, we should have a few little embellishments. So I grabbed my basic adhesive backed sequins. And again, you can find these. They come in several different colors. I've used most of mine already. You can find these in my store when you go and do a search. I'm using the Take Your Pick tool to pick these little buggers up. And if you just push them a little bit, they'll come right off. Whoops, there goes my putty. <laughs> I'm gonna screw this to bring that putty out a little bit again. Don't push it too far, because it'll kind of keep coming for a little bit. And I'm just gonna add some of these little sequins in there for embellishments. And then, let me set this aside. Oh, you know what? I was gonna add sequins to this one. Let's see what I can do here. I put the wrong sequins on this one. And there we go. This is this is live TV, folks. Oh, thank goodness. Um, if you get these, if you take these off right away, they should come loose. If I left them until later, they'd probably rip my paper because that adhesive, the glue dot that's on there will set up, if that makes sense. So this is where I wanted the green sequins to go, <gasps> okay? But I do have some embellishments for this, and that is our Artisan Share What You Love Pearls. And again, you can do a search in my store for the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. That's what they're called. And I thought these little peachy ones would match up perfectly with this card. I don't know what I was thinking, putting those sequins on here. And the Take Your Pick tool is perfect for this. I think I'm gonna put, these are really little, so I'm gonna put a few more. When I add embellishments to a card, oh, pff, well that didn't even stay there. When I add embellishments to a card, I usually do odd numbers. So either three or five, and I can't get that one to stick. Let's try this. There we go, and one more. Okay, isn't that pretty? I love, love, love that we have all this color coordination. Embellishments, ribbon, markers, you know, different little candle things that go with the theme that you're working on. Okay, let me bring these cards back in here and I'll tell you about the challenge that I'm offering. Let me put a couple things away here. Okay, we have four different cards using the same layout. So this one is like this. The other three are like this. All of these, except this one, use the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper. And then I chose the How Sweet It Is here for the balloon card. Along with the One for All. And the Thank You is from the Accented Blooms with the Taylor Tag Punch. Okay, you guys, this is what I've got for you. What I want you to do if you accept my challenge is I would love for you to do this layout um, and make some cards with it and share it on the Facebook page, on my Facebook page. So what you need to do, first of all, your stamps need to be stamping up. It's okay if they're retired, but they have to be stamping up. And I would love for your designer series paper to be stamping up, but I'm not going to require it for this challenge. Doesn't matter whether they're retired or current, but I'd like to see what you guys make with this particular layout. Again, four by three, this is two and three quarters by three and three quarters, and then the layer under it is an eighth of an inch bigger at two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. You can have your card fold this way, you can have your card fold this way, you can have your card fold this way. That's not important. And again, this layout is up, is, is up for grabs. Like, it's your interpretation of it. I did some like this. You could move this in the middle. You can do whatever you want. But we have to kind of stay with the layout. 
And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Now, I am going to offer a free stamp set um, in a drawing for everybody that participates. So, while there are tons of people that comment on my live videos, your chances of um, winning the drawing that I always draw every week for that is a lot lower because of the quantity of people that comment. The quantity of people that share my video is smaller than the people that comment, so you have a better chance of winning that drawing if you share my video. But making this card challenge, I'm sure, is going to be smaller yet, so you'll have a better chance of winning. I challenge you to make a card with this layout, post it on my Facebook page, which is a stamp above dash your creative coach, and I will enter everybody that does the challenge in a drawing. Now, what else was I going to say? There was one other thing. Oh, when you go to take pictures of your cards, you need good lighting, first of all. So if you need to wait for daylight, please do that, because cards that are all shadowy aren't very attractive. The other thing I wanted to kind of tell you is you can lay your card right down on a table. Let's say this is my cell phone. You're gonna, don't take it from way over here. That's gonna give you a skewed um, photo. Take your picture from up above and watch the margins around the outside so they're kind of even. Or you can take it this way, this way, or this way. Once you get it to Facebook, if it's the wrong way, like let's say that you have a up and down card, but it's sideways. Once you put it on Facebook, if you click on the picture down at the bottom, there are options. When you click options, you can rotate it left or right. I might be able to do that for you too if you're not familiar with that. But there you go. We've got four cards. I love these. You saw how quick and easy they were to make using one layout. I hope you'll accept my challenge. Don't forget, I will be back on March 17th live at 7 p.m. Central Time. And um, share this video on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate those. Um, there's a bell on the screen someplace when you're on YouTube watching a video. Click on that. That's a good thing also. Leave a comment underneath and I will enter you in a drawing to win free product when I get back. And I'll be sharing all the cards with you that um, I got while I was gone. So I'll be able to do that. I'll be awarding prizes next week. Don't forget, second release celebration item, Painted Seasons. You get the paper and the stamp set for free with your $100 order. And then we have a bunch. There are, I think, four sets of framelits. A stamp set. Let me grab that. A stamp set and a new punch as our March promotion that you can buy. The, the framelits match four of our celebration stamp sets. They're only going to be available through March, too. So um, limited time, limited quantity, I'm sure. Get these before they sell out. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun making it for you. It's never as fun as when we're live. I guarantee you that. And we didn't have any smart aleck comments from um, Steve, you know, saying hi from the kitchen or whatever. <laughs> but um, he'll be back, I think, on um, and our next stamping Sunday. So don't worry about that. I'm still drinking water as of the taping of this. Yeah, this is full of water and it is still sucking the joy out of my life. But hopefully by the time you watch this, I've lost some more weight. I'll be happy to report to you how that's going. And it's kind of funny too because when I share that kind of stuff with you guys, it kind of makes me accountable to... Keep my nose to the grindstone to lose that weight. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful Sunday evening. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time right back on my channel. You can visit my blog right here. You're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. You'll also find the monthly host code there. And um, use that if your order is under $150. Otherwise, if it's over, don't use the host code. You'll get your own rewards. 
Thank you so much for your orders, for your support, and for spending your Sunday evening with me. Bye-bye.